In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to take a third look at a technique where you take an image and make it look like it's on the back of a playing card and then flip it. But not one image, but three images. And in this case, we're going to show you how to stagger them so they don't always spin at the same time. That's where we left it at the end of our previous lesson. So now we're going to make them flip separately. It's a little more complicated. We'll show you some techniques involving masking and snapshots. So I have my three clips from the last lesson on track number two, three, and four. And if I play part of it, you see an image flipping around of the second gentleman, and then you see an image of the gal for the last one. A couple things I want to do. First of all, I want to start out having it look like all the cards are there. So when I had all three images stacked one upon another, I was able to take a snapshot using the camera icon here, and I simply called it three backs. We'll put that on track number one and make that as long as the length of our clip. So that's our default. It starts out looking like we have three solid cards. The next thing we need to do is we need to do some additional work so that when we're at the end of the first card called left, that I have the picture of the girl now that she's flipped over. In the video, she's not. So I went to the tracks that I didn't need and I turned them off until I could take a picture of her alone. And I'm going to take that and drag that down into track number two. So after she's done spinning, she'll stay on the screen. The same thing I did with the guy on his track. And so we took a picture of that separately. And then I am going to take that image and put that in the screen. Now the problem is right now, if I play this, because one is on top of another, it doesn't necessarily give you the look you want because the image in the lower track gets in the way of the ones above it. You see some blackness up here. What I have to do is I have to do some masking. Now let's take the track number three and mask it. I'm going to click on that track. I'll click on designer and we'll do mask designer. Now basically when I get to my second track, I want to make sure I can see the middle card and the other ones are transparent. So the mask is the part you see, the part you don't mask is the part that's, that is transparent. I'm going to click on my white box and here I have a mask. I'm going to change the size of it. I'll turn off maintain aspect ratio. And then I'm going to make the mask the size of my image. And so this part I will see, these parts will be transparent, and I click on OK. Then I go to the third one, and what I want to do here is the same thing. Click on it, do Designer. Uh, uh, so in earlier versions, I believe the Mask Designer is a tab under the PIP Designer. I'm in 17 here. Click on Mask Designer again, and then I'll choose a mask. I'll take the square white box again, and I'll turn off Maintain Aspect Ratio. This is the part I want to see. I want the other parts to be transparent. And so now I've masked that one. I click on OK. I also have to mask the center guy here. Because if I don't, you notice the girl disappears here. So we'll click on this one. And we'll do Designer Mask Designer. And we'll punch a hole in this one. We'll turn on Maintain Aspect Ratio. And now we want to make sure we're just masking him out. And click on OK. So let's go to the beginning and see if these flip one at a time and the others stay on the screen. My left card is about to flip. 
and it does, then my center card should flip, leaving the girl on the, on the screen, and then my right card should flip, doing the same thing. And so those are some of the techniques you can use to do that. I'm also going to add here a music track and some text tracks. But that's an example of how you can do multiple flipping of objects that look like playing cards in CyberLink PowerDirector. Mm -hmm.